and we've got a little toy we're going to use uh, to start working on a few things. So the first thing we're going to work on is him coming towards the item. A lot of times with retrieve, we tend to try and put it in the dog's mouth, and you can see what the man's doing here is he's moving out of the way, and I'm trying to get it in there, and it then becomes a game on his behalf, doesn't it? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. A bit too far away, aren't they? Um, but what we want is for him to come towards it. So the best way to do that is, a few, is to play a little bit and we want him to come to it, okay? So what we can do is either, and a man's a dog that knows how to do holds, but you can either have it slightly further away and let them sniff it. Can you get it? Yes, good boy! And get them to work towards it. If they won't put their mouth around it automatically, you can just get them to sniff it. You can get, um, get a nose touch if they know what a nose touch is. Or you can make a bit of a big deal of it. Put some, oh, put some scent on it. Oh, this is brilliant, isn't it? What's that? Yes, good. And any kind of action and motion towards it, we're going to reward. Now, I say yes quite a lot. That's my clicker marker word. If you clicker, you want to click as they make contact. Um, or if you're going to use a word like yes or good, something nice and sharp, again, it's as they make contact. So they understand it's the motion towards the item um, that's what we're after, okay? Not them backing away or moving their heads from side to side. You can see how much he does want it, but it, I want him to come towards me, okay? So, yes, good boy. That's where you're going to start at the moment. Yes, it's for them to come towards us. So like I say, it might be, and touch... Good boy, you might just be getting a nose touch like that. And again, get it? Yes, you might get the whole mouth, which was open in Merlin's case there. Can you get it? Yeah. Oh, good boy. So that wasn't a full hold that he just opened his mouth on it, but it's still to contact. That's all we want at this stage. Get it then? Yes, good boy. That was a little bit more that time. Ready? Get it? Yes. Good boy, get it? That was me. Get it? Yes, good boy. So he got my finger rather than the item that time, so I made him do it again. Can you get it, get it? Yay, good boy. So we're making it nice and fun. Because look at his tail, look, he loves this. He doesn't, you know, it's not really much of an exercise for a dog that knows what he's doing, but he's enjoying it, aren't you? Can you get it? Yes. So the next thing we want, so this is just starting to turn your dog around from moving away from the item when you get it out for them to actually start coming towards it. So it's just changing the pattern of behaviour. We also need um, a, a nose touch of some sort, okay? So we can start working on, on hands being part of the retrieve. So if you haven't done a nose touch before, very, very quickly to show you what we want. Treat, hang on, <laughs> treat in your hand, hand closed. Let your dog sniff, touch. When they sniff it, say touch, let them have the treat, okay? So this is starting to get them, touch to associate with your hand and to make contact with it. Touch, good boy. Touch, good lad, okay? Swap hands occasionally, doesn't matter what hand you're using. Touch. When you've done a few of those, you can then make it a bit harder. Touch, good boy. And you have a completely open hand with the treat in the other hand. So that one's empty, it's got the treat in it. Touch, good boy. And touch, yes, good boy. And you can see Merlin's really pushing my hand, which is what I'm after. Touch, yes. And touch, come on, come on, yes. So that would be a next stage, because eventually, you're gonna touch this, Merlin, yes. We want it a little bit longer. Touch, Merlin. I can't look at you and the camera. Yes, like that, so we're gonna start asking for a longer one. So initially, just that very quick, Bop on the on the hand from the nose, good boy. If they know how to pour, we don't want pour. It needs to be the nose, okay? If they know a chin target, you could do a chin, but ideally a nose target, okay? So you've got getting your dogs to start coming towards you to grab the item or to touch your item, um, and you've got the nose touch as well. If they won't come anywhere near the item you've got and they haven't done a touch before, start with the touch with the nose on hand because then you can transfer the same wording onto the toy and they can start doing a nose touch on the toy and we can develop that into a retrieve as well, okay? Um, final thing that could be quite handy, particularly if as you're trying to put a toy into your dog's mouth, they tend to back away um, and that would be um, a form of platform training. So with platform training, you literally have a platform and a space, uh, sorry, disappearing a little bit here, for your dog to get onto. So just to grab the first thing to hand, this is a small raised bed. I ordinarily would use natural platform for this, but this will do. And this is to give them um, a place to go. And you want to start working on you being at the head of the item like this. 
good boy. Pray use any kind of contact they make on it. The treat comes off of it. Good boy. So I'm going to have to click her at the minute. Just because that's just easier for me. So I'm just letting Merlin know this is the place to be. Good boy. Throw the treat off so he has to go off of it to get it. And he puts himself back on. Now I want him to get on it entirely, so I'm not going to click for him putting two feet on. Don't want that either. Nearly. Try again. Good boy. So I'm just going to praise him for that. That was very nice. Now I want him to get back off. And I'm going to wait for him to put all four feet. Good boy. On again. No, try again. Try again. No. What'd you do? Merlin. On the bed. Good. Silly boy. Don't you? Can you get on? Merlin. Go on. On the bed. Yes. Good boy. So then once they know how to get onto your platform, we can do a little bit of work, get them to face forward as well if you want to. We want them to face forward, either in a stand like Merlin is now nice and straight, or work on getting a sit in front of you, okay? If they can learn that whatever they're doing, they need to be sitting on that platform first, touch, for example, or to work on the item, hold it, yes, good boy, then they're not going to be moving away. Oh, sorry, darling, I didn't throw it here, I was gesturing. Um, They'll concentrate more on the platform and where they are, and that means that then they're not moving away from you, so they've only got one direction they want to work in. Pommy, which is towards us. Can you get on in front? Good boy, sit and get it. Yes, good boy. Okay, so you've got working on your dogs coming towards you to get your item. Good boy. You've got your nose touch. Yes. And you've got work on a platform of some sort. Yes, good boy. Three things to get started with um, working on a hold for a retrieve when you have a dog that um, doesn't want it, when you try and pop the toy in or is moving away as you're trying to approach them. So we're just going to override those patterns with that one. Okay.